this is Global Grind, and uh, it's me and Ben. Take one. That was great. Okay. That was really good. <laughs> you gotta feature this. All right, so this is like our, I don't know, eighth interview in the last 24 hours, so I really don't have much to ask you. No. Is there anything you need to ask me? Are we good at this point? So you enjoy Lola Versus? I enjoy Lola Versus very much. Me too, I was really happy to make it. Yeah. Honey, you're gonna die when you see these flowers. Honey, what's up, did you have a stroke? I don't think I can do this. <laughs> this character, as we've been saying the last couple of days to impress, is incredibly flawed, yes. troubled, yes. And broken on some level, but mm -hmm. also looks to empower herself a little bit. Well, what did you connect on with Lola? I really liked the fact that she makes big mistakes, that she's a big mess, that it's not just adorable, that she kind of screws up in a major way, which I think sometimes in movies you get like cute screw ups by girls, but not like. Ooh, you just slept with your best friend and then cheated on him with some random guy, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Do you think this is a good movie for people who are in relationships or for people who have just gotten out of relationships? Not good for people in relationships, I think. Only singles allowed. No, um, it's, it's good for anyone who has gone through a time where they feel like everything's falling apart and not going the way they planned, which is everybody. You got this movie, you've worked with Russell Brand, you've worked with Ben Stiller, you've worked with Woody Allen yeah. coming, so everything's going to, according to the plan for you. You didn't know my plans, though. Oh, really? <laughs> you, you don't know that that's maybe totally not my plan. This is, if this is plan B, <laughs> what was plan A? Jeez. Is your Match.com login still let me be your whole? Let me be your whole one. It was taken. I remember the first time interviewing you for Greenberg a couple yeah, of years ago yeah. now, but now we see you on magazine covers and red carpets and the whole deal. So is that part enjoyable? Is it strange? How are you dealing with fame? You know, in a, in a funny way, like all of the, the externals, of like doing interviews and doing all that kind of stuff, like it doesn't feel like, wow, it's an explosion. It kind of feels like just um, you're going to a new high school or something. Yeah. And here are the people at this high school, and they're all really attractive. Remember how much I love Cinderella? It's a classic. It's what messes little girls up. We all get obsessed with shoes. Well, being that it's an election year, is there a cause or an issue that you are supporting or that you think is really important for the national conversation? Well, I was just really happy that Barack Obama came out and said, okay, let's get, like, gay marriage on books. Wait, he, he said that. it in a cool way. Well, I mean, he does said, everything in a cool he way. Said, I think he said, I'm just going to go ahead and affirm that. Congratulations uh, on all the success thanks. and surviving all these interviews the last couple of days. You did a great job. Oh, and uh, I can't wait for people to check out Lola Versus when it hits theaters June. That's, that's the one. <laughs> Go check it out right here on Global Grind. Peace. Bye.